it's been a period of time since our last haul video and as I always do I ask you guys where I should do my next haul at and the answer this time was the triple B so Chad and I went to Bed Bath & Beyond did a little bit of damage on the old credit card and I'm gonna show you what we picked up at our most recent Bed Bath & Beyond haul Right out of the gate, we figured this Tavolo microwave food cover was a good idea because although I like my leftovers nice and cold, Chad likes his heated up in the microwave. What do you guys like, hot leftovers or cold leftovers? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, that aside, I figured this would make a lot of sense. It's collapsible, so it's easy to store. So it kind of like pops out like that, which is really neat. And it's great because you can just put it on top of your dish and it allows the steam to come out, but at the same time, covers up any of those potential nasty messes that happen in microwaves. Small investment for a big payoff. Here's something I think a lot of you will appreciate. This is called Gearbox Sport Under Bed Shoe Bag. And the reason I picked this up was, I mean, I thought it was great for me, but I also thought about a lot of you who have limited storage space. And basically this allows you to store up to a dozen pair of shoes and you can just slip it right under your bed. So talk about doubling up on your storage space. This was a brilliant solution and for 14 bucks, why not? A lot of you know that I like using dryer balls instead of fabric softener or dryer sheets, but I don't think a lot of you do know that my very first actual animal type pet, aside from a goldfish, was a hedgehog named Knuckles. And boy, do I miss little prickly Knuckles. Anyway, when I saw these very cute hedgehog dryer balls, I thought they were really nice. When I saw these really cute hedgehog dryer balls, I thought they were a really nice homage to my first pet, Hedgehog Knuckles. And also, it is kind of time to replace mine. They're starting to get holes in them. so. These are really great, and if you don't know how to use dryer balls, they're very simple. You just throw them into the dryer along with your clothing. They get a little bit noisy, but they beat out all of the static, and they keep your clothes nice and fluffy and soft. You guys know that I have a thing with smells, and when I saw these cedar sachets, but you guys love when I say sachets, so when I saw these cedar sachets, cedar sachets, try saying that a bunch of times. When I saw these, I had to pick them up. I love them. What they are, they're just exactly what they sound like. They're little muslin bags and they're filled with cedar chips. <sighs> and they smell amazing. The reason why these are so great is because you can hang them in your closet, you can stick them in your drawers or your armoires, you can even throw these in suitcases. And not only do they help neutralize odors, but they actually repel mustiness, mildew, and even moths. And I mean, for something that smells this fabulous, why not? Let's see what else I have in my bag of tricks. Ah, okay. This is a Trudeau handle grip. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram, at Melissa Maker, by the way, in case you're interested, I do a lot of cooking photos on there and you know that I love cooking. And my favorite cooking vessel slash implement is my cast iron frying pan. So if you know anything about cast iron, the handle conducts as much heat as the actual pan itself, which means you could basically burn your entire hand if you're not mindful 100% of the time. So this little clampy thing for eight bucks, it's made out of silicone, easy to clean, and you can basically just slide this over your handle cook like a champ and voila no burnt hand on the topic of kitchens I also picked up this vegetable steamer which doubles as a babushka Halloween costume but anyway the reason I grabbed this silicone one was because the metal ones are loud and clunky and are awkward to store this one and we actually don't have a vegetable steamer right now is flexible easy to clean silicone drop your veggies in stick it in a pan I just thought this was super convenient and again, for 15 bucks, it's a good piece to have in your kitchen. Why not? And right back onto the topic of cleaning, the next thing that I picked up was the Arm & Hammer Fridge Fresh. This is a little situation with a plunger on the back, actually. Chad corrects me all the time and says it's a suction cup. My mother called it a plunger, I think. Mother issues. Anyway, 
This is very exciting because it allows you to keep your fridge smelling fresh and of course keeping those odors and bad flavors out of your food without taking up shelf space. So use that little suction cup plunger thing, stick this on the side of your fridge. You can change it out every 30 days. It works like a charm and I love baking soda as you guys know and so does this rapper. I forget his name but he has this really catchy song and there's a lyric in there that goes baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. I'm sure you guys know the song. Now here's an interesting item. Recently I was on the Marilyn Dennis show doing a segment about sports gear and for those of you guys who aren't Canadian, Marilyn Dennis is kind of a big deal here in Canada. Anyway, so we were talking about sports gear and one of the questions that she asked me was how to clean your baseball cap. So Marilyn, this one is for you. Basically what you do is you get one of these forms, clip it open and very obviously stick your hat on there, clamp the form down and this goes on the top rack of your dishwasher. Now all the instructions are on here, you don't use any product with it but I'm not going to get into the whole thing now. The bottom line is if you need to wash your hat and it is indeed washable, this is the form you want to use to clean it. If your hat is sort of a really expensive one or a collector's item, you don't want to get it wet so don't use one of these. Next thing in my bag is Method Pink Grapefruit Hand Soap and Chad and I happen to love Method Hand Soap. We have it all over the house whether it's the kitchen or one of our bathrooms. We love the scents, we love the packaging, it's all good. So this time this one is going in Chad's bathroom and he's like Melissa just pick whatever you want for me. So I got him the pink one. Aha! So this is the real simple delicate wash bag. And not only is this a delicates bag, you know I always talk about these in laundry videos, but this one is really neat because it's actually compartmentalized. So uh, you have three different sections where you can put different items, underwear, stockings, bras, delicate tops or anything like that. I think it's really convenient because sometimes I throw a couple of items in my delicates bag and they get all mumbly jumbly. So this is really good because it separates everything out. This is an OXO Good Grips compact dustpan and brush and the reason this is really cool is because if you're like me and you don't like schlepping out your whole broom or your vacuum or your Swiffer or whatever it is that you use, you can just grab one of these and they're super cute and convenient and of course I'm going to have trouble popping it out as we're live from New York, it's Saturday night. Okay, well anyway guys, take my word for it. This thing eventually will come out. I will just struggle with it a little bit off camera, but it's great because you can do a quick little touch up and it's got this nice silicone lip so it's really easy to brush everything in there. You can pull it backwards. Great for getting into little corners, great for brushing off upholstery really quick or for any super fast cleanups where you don't want to schlep out your whole situation. This item, both Chad and I like beeline toward when we saw it and we knew we had to have it. It is called the Miracle Fold and it has a lot of claims on its box and the top one up here says it takes a miracle to stay organized and I kind of buy that. It also says when time or space is critical you need the miracle. So I don't know who's doing the marketing for this, they make some pretty bold claims but I'm going to explain the situation here. This is basically a folding board. So you pull out this piece of plastic, you stick your shirt on there, it can be a t-shirt, a long sleeve top, a button down shirt, whatever and basically you clap in one side, you clap in the other side and you're done. Like you have this beautiful neat little fold, you can stack them all up and make your covers and closets look beautiful. Chad and I recently redid our laundry room which some of you guys know about, others of you don't but either way you will see it very soon and we have some crazy cool stuff coming up in the laundry world so we thought this might be a neat little foray into our laundry situation. And here's one that I think is quite interesting especially because I've been doing a lot of traveling lately. Again if you guys follow me on the IG you will know that I have been on a lot of planes. So this is called the bag bungee. It is 14 bucks and the reason I thought it was a good investment of $14 is because it basically allows you to put your smaller bag on top of your larger sort of roller carry-on bag. So I'm the guy in the airport with the cool duffel bag and the cool wheelie suitcase. 
that never stay together and they're wobbly and awkward and I'm like, you know, trying to get off an airplane and look cool and sleek and then my bag falls and then I'm like, oh, excuse me, line and everybody's like angry at me and it's just horribly awkward. So if I can spend $15 on a bag bungee to basically solve that problem, I am very happy to part ways with those 15 of my hard-earned dollars. That, as far as I can tell, concludes our Triple B Bed Bath & Beyond haul. We spent a total of 162 Canadian dollars, so that's what you can get for that amount of money. As we always do in our haul videos, I want to know where do you want me to haul at next time? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'd also love to know if you have any of these products, if you've tried them or if you're considering them, because I'd be quite interested in what you guys have to say about all this stuff. I also want to let you know that if you are not in a country which has a Bed Bath & Beyond, I will put all links to these products in the description box down below. I'll try to find them on Amazon or something, so at least you can get access to them wherever you are in the world. Now guys, if you want to see the craziest product that they have at Bed Bath & Beyond, like I can't even imagine who, how, why, what, when, and where this thing was invented. But I took a picture of it and I put it on my Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker and I posted it on April the 27th because today is Tuesday. We always film on Tuesdays and we were out shopping yesterday. If you want to follow the guy behind the camera who also sometimes plays Creepy Carl, he is at the Chad Reynolds. And the two of us together in this crazy world are at Clean My Space. There is a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and if you like haul videos, and you can click this button right here, right over here, to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Welcome to the end of this video. This is the part where we always talk about some other cool videos that are kind of associated to the one we just shot that I want to draw your attention to. So the first video over here is our Ikea haul where we brought some very cool items home with some very complicated names, so be sure to check that out. And then this video over here is our Target Canada haul, which is now kind of a collector's item because there is no Target in Canada, but you can check that one out over there. Anyway, you can also check out some cool, interesting, fun, exciting cleaning items, information, news, tips, tricks, newsletters, you got it, whatever you want. It's all over at cleanmyspace.com and we got a link down there for you as well. Thanks guys and we'll see you next week.